Okay, like I said in a previous video, um, we've got a car hire business. And um, <coughs> I've got very busy in a particular area, which is about one hour away from my, um, my base, my home base location. Um, so I'm in a situation now. I've got um, an incredible amount of car, well, not, sorry, not by Europe car standards or, or, or budget, but um, I've got a lot of cars out on hire. Um, and um, it's cheap runarounds, they're nothing special, it's just a uh, uh, cheap rent a wreck type business, you know. Um, but it's gone really busy in this particular area. So now I'm finding that, obviously, because I don't have an office in the area, that I'm, I'm, I'm continually over here all the time, um, picking cars up, dropping them off, obviously if there's a problem, blah, 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 because they're older cars, you know, that invariably they do have problems, you know, like, uh, but again, we'll be showing you these, we'll be showing you the, the sort of problems we have and, 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 and and uh, the day's events on the video diary. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what this video video um, diary is all about. All about, sorry. So, uh, but where I'm at the moment, we're just, um, we're just on our way now down to a local tire and exhaust center I found last week. Um, it was, again, I had a customer phone me up. I said, oh, we've got a flat tire, put the spare on. Um, and I thought, oh, I can't be doing with this. He's like guys like a, like you know an hour away. I'd plan to have the day off because I do try to give myself at least one day's break from the car hire, then a whole day so I can concentrate on other things. And um, I thought, no, I'm not going to go over there. I'm just going to I'm just going to find a local local tire place. And because uh, normally I'd go over and I'd swap the car over. Um, it was a good op problems always give a good opportunity to go and uh, to go and retrieve the vehicle and have a look at it. Give it you know check check the oil and water because you know the people who are renting them you know obviously they never bother doing that although they say they do but uh, they don't um so i just sat around about at the moment just waiting to pull over here we go wait for these guys so yeah so i found this guy i just got him um i was laying in bed when the phone call came in it was about uh about 10 o'clock in the morning because i don't get up till about 10 o'clock believe it or not that's that's the time i the time of day i sort of start Sort of like sometimes I get up a little bit earlier. I might get up at nine at a push, but I tend to sort of like um, get up at about ten o'clock. Um, but I do work late. I sometimes don't go to bed till sort of two, three in the morning. So um, I don't know if you can hear that very fast. I've got a trailer light out. And now that's bleeping at me, telling me I've got a low screen wash, which is uh, something else. So yeah, so. I'm just going to pull over here quickly, just before I pull into the place. So I don't want them to think, why is he filming himself? <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, um, I found this, this, this local tyre and exhaust centre, and uh, I phoned him up, I phoned the guy up, and I said to him, um, can you do a puncture for me on a, on a, a Mitsubishi? Um, no, sorry, it was a Ford Mondeo, a Mondeo estate. And he said, "Yeah, he said, uh, not a problem. Drop it down. It's always don't know the guy. Never had any dealers with him before. Um, so you're always sort of like, oh, you know, but um, you know. Um, sorry, no. Back, backtrack, backtrack. Right. See, there's going to be no edits on this film. This is this is the raw video. So, so uh, hit this particular car. So we've had two incidents with this with this garage now. This particular car had a flat battery. The guy took it down to London and the um, Ford Mondeo, and he had a flat battery." And um, he's said, um, the first I knew of it was he phoned me up, he wanted the radio code, he jump started the car and he couldn't get it going. So he's bought a, I said, um, told him how to get the radio code for the car. And um, consequently, a couple of days later, he, he uh, called back to say that the battery wasn't actually holding its charge. So what I did, I, I, I um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, I got the phone call, I was laying in bed, I just woke up. And I thought, no, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to rush out there. So this is the great thing about Blackberries. You know, I have a Blackberry um, mobile phone, and this is, the, and this is again, you know, like people say, how do you do it? Well, it's. I think without technology, without the phones, you know, 
of you know where you can get internet access and stuff like that now you know it, it's it, I wouldn't be able to do what I, what I do you know um, because of course all I did was just laying in bed quickly looked on on just called up um, tire and exhaust center in Huntingdon you know um, phoned them up and said can you do have a look at a, a car um, it's not charging I said can you check the charge on it before you put the battery on it if it needs a battery um, hopefully it's not the alternator and then um, thank me and uh, the guy took it down I paid the first company I called was a company called ATS now ATS are a, a nationwide um, car company and um, they said to me no no sorry we're not going to do that so I thought oh fair enough you know you if, if you're not prepared to take a credit card payment over the phone because that was the issue they didn't want to take a credit card payment over the phone I'm an hour away I'm an hour's drive away so um, I thought okay that's fine um, if you don't want the business I'll give it to someone else now what a silly mistake to make from that I mean uh, that guy um, I spoke to whether he was the manager of that local ATS branch or whatever well what a foolish mistake to make because um, he he's just had I had he have agreed to my request and said yeah no problem we'll do the battery and take the credit card payment he would have he would have got all my business just like this guy now this this small guy who, who, who was my second port of call has now got my business so um, yeah it just goes to show really sometimes you know um, you, you you should you should probably think a little bit if if you're on the other side I'm just thinking people watching this other businesses who might be watching this video other business owners you know don't um, because it's a little bit out of the norm doesn't necessarily mean what you you know that it's dodgy you know um, I could have walked into the store the ATS store and given him my credit card which he would have happily have taken but. I could still have done a credit card chargeback if I'd have been that way inclined. If I wanted to rip the guy off, you know, I don't know what his ang what his thought was there, but you know, it's a it's what's called a customer not present transaction. Millions of them take place every day, you know, in 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 the um, millions of those transactions take place every day with credit cards. So, so there you go. So ATS didn't get the business. Um, this um, this other guy. Um, did get the business for the vehicle um, he put a new battery on it now did it need a battery I don't know but he, char he only actually charged me 50 pounds to supply and fit the battery um, and interestingly enough the motor factors I'm using for the supply of my parts actually charged me 50 pounds just for the battery alone so um, I'm actually sort of thinking in my mind it was it was a good deal you know I did get a good deal there um, so the the next thing was a the, the the next phone call so it saved me a trip out an hour away and I, I still have my day you know um, so without the BlackBerry um, and without um, you know uh, without that that BlackBerry I would have probably just jumped in my car and or jumped in the recovery truck and, and run over there and um, so I say recovery truck we haven't got a recovery truck it's a it's a it's a trailer on a on the back of a, a Range Rover but I will be getting a recovery truck hopefully another video for another day um, waffling again so yeah then I got a, uh, another phone call um, so I thought oh, the guy's done me a good deal so I went down there and I said to him I said uh, don't give the customer the receipt I said I'll pay for it over the phone with my credit card and I'll come in and, and get the receipt from you and when I went in there and I had a little bit of a chat with the owner of the business and he's um, kindly um, offered to do um, MOTs he's got an MOT um, station as well you can do do vehicle MOTs I thought to myself I don't really think I'm going to use you for my MOTs because I've got my own mechanic um, who, I, who I employ um, to do uh, my repairs and he's also an MOT tester himself and we've got uh, um, we, we do our own MOTs at the other uh, nearer to my 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 base um, so I thought well you know Probably, probably won't be using the MOTs. I didn't tell him that, but I thought I probably won't be using the MOTs. But I'll be doing them. Um, certainly, I think I'll be doing some business with you. And then yesterday, I got a phone call um, from another customer. He's, he says, oh, "I've had a flat tire. Um, can I? Um, can you swap the car?" I said, "Well, 
actually, I said, I found a, a tyre in his horse place, just literally just down the road from you. Um, I told him where it was. He's only literally only th two minutes drive from 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 where the guy um, was located. So he's gone down there and um, they've put a tyre on it. Did it need a tyre? Don't know. You know, they said that the puncture was near to the near to the wall of the tyre and it couldn't be repaired, and it needed a tyre. So don't know. But he charged me forty pounds for the tyre, which again for a brand new tyre, you know that's that's not a bad price. Not a bad price, and I'm just about to just sit in here at the moment. I'm just going to go around and get the receipt from the guy because um, their instructions are never to give um, the receipts to the to the to the drivers of the vehicle to the the renter of the vehicle because obviously I won't get it and I need it. So I'm going to go in and see him now. Get pick up this receipt um, and talk to him about MOTs now. Now you're probably thinking, why am I going to talk to him about MOTs after like in the last breath? I've just said I'm probably going to use him. Well, the reason why I'm going to talk to him about MOTs is because yesterday evening I went round to collect some ironing, which I have done by my mechanic's wife. And um, in conversation, he said, oh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do the MOTs anymore because the MOT station are like um, limiting me to just one day a week where I can test the cars which is not very good flexibility. So it's strange how life, how, how things can change. And, they, and I find that all the time in my life, it seems just just change all the time. You know, one minute you're thinking, you, 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 you're, you, you know, you have a chance conversation with someone, and, you know, if, I, if, I had, if that guy hadn't have phoned up with the flat battery on the Mondeo two days ago, um, I wouldn't be able to or I wouldn't be in a situation now where I've, where I've just found someone who can do my MOTs because at that point although he'd, the guy, this, this new guy said to me he says I can do your MOTs for you I didn't need him but I did need him 24 hours later or it certainly seems that like I'm going to need him um, just 24 hours just 24 hours later just again just a chance a chance how your life can can take different turns um you never know where it's going to be anyway so yeah so there you go i just thought i'd, I'd put that in there so just, it really just the purpose of this entry really was just to say this video entry was just to say that um if you haven't got one get yourself a blackberry or an iphone um they're an absolute life changer you know in that respect okay